Hey everyone! Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll be diving into the critical topic of firearm safety, particularly when it comes to children. We've prepared an informative and engaging practice test for you, featuring multiple choice and true or false questions, all designed to test your knowledge and help you understand the key concepts of this vital topic. So, whether you're preparing for your firearm safety certificate exam or simply seeking to educate yourself on firearm safety around children, this video is perfect for you. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest content. Now, let's jump right into the practice test. According to California law, a firearm owner is guilty of a misdemeanor or felony if a child under 18 years of age obtains and uses a loaded firearm, unless the firearm is a. stored in a locked container, b. stored unloaded, c. hidden in a high place, d. stored with a trigger lock. Answer A. A child's thumb has twice the strength of their other fingers, making it possible for them to a. Unlock a locked container b. Pull the trigger of a gun c. Remove a trigger lock d. Load a firearm Answer b. Pull the trigger of a gun Which of the following is not a recommended childproofing method for firearms? A. Using a trigger lock. B. Storing the firearm in a locked container. C. Hiding the firearm in an easily accessible location. D. Storing the firearm unloaded. Answer. C. Hiding the firearm in an easily accessible location. Child safety precautions should be practiced. A. Only when children are present in your home. B. Only when your own children are present in your home. C. Even if you have no children, or if your children have grown to adulthood and left home. D. Only when there are children under the age of 12 in your home. Answer. C. Even if you have no children, or if your children have grown to adulthood and left home. When a child asks questions or begins to act out gunplay, it is important to a. Ignore their curiosity. B. Answer their questions as honestly and openly as possible. C. Discourage them from ever mentioning guns again. D. Encourage them to play with toy guns instead. Answer. B. Answer their questions as honestly and openly as possible. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, Adolescence is a highly vulnerable stage in life because teenagers are struggling to develop traits of a. Identity, independence, and autonomy. b. Curiosity, aggression, and competitiveness. c. Intelligence, creativity, and adaptability. d. Confidence, assertiveness, and responsibility. Answer a. Identity independence, and autonomy. To teach children about the difference between real and toy guns, it is important to a. Allow them to play with real guns under supervision. b. Explain that real guns can hurt or kill someone who is shot. c. Encourage them to avoid anything related to guns. d. Tell them that real guns are only for adults. Answer B. Explain that real guns can hurt or kill someone who is shot. A. Uh, do as I say and not as I do. Approach to gun safety is A. Responsible and safe. B. Irresponsible and dangerous. C. Effective in teaching children about gun safety. D. The best way to keep children safe around guns. Answer. B. Irresponsible and dangerous. Children learn about gun safety primarily by A. Watching movies and TV shows. 
b. Listening to cautionary words from adults. c. Observing the adults around them practicing safe conduct. d. Attending firearm safety courses. Answer. c. Observing the adults around them practicing safe conduct. When a child finds or sees a gun, the first rule they should follow is to a. Pick it up and bring it to an adult. b. Stop what they are doing. c. Touch the gun to see if it is real. d. Call their friends to show them the gun. Answer b. Stop what they are doing. The second rule for a child who finds or sees a gun is to a. Touch it only if they know it is a toy. b. Pick it up carefully and examine it. c. Not touch the gun. d. Hide the gun in a safer place. Answer c. Not touch the gun. If a child encounters a gun, the third rule they should follow is to a. Take the gun away from another child. b. Try to stop someone from using the gun. c. Immediately leave the area. d. Unload the gun to make it safe. Answer c. Immediately leave the area. The final rule for a child who finds or sees a gun is to a. Tell their friends about it. b. Keep it a secret from adults. c. Tell an adult about the gun they have seen. d. Post about it on social media. Answer c. Tell an adult about the gun they have seen. Which of the following is not a requirement under California law to prevent being guilty of a misdemeanor or felony when a child under 18 years of age obtains and uses a loaded firearm? A. Storing the firearm unloaded. B. Storing the firearm in a locked container. C. Using a locking device to temporarily keep the firearm from functioning. D. Keeping the firearm in a location inaccessible to children. Answer. D. Keeping the firearm in a location inaccessible to children. When addressing a child's curiosity about firearms, it is important to communicate in a manner they can relate to and understand, particularly when teaching them about a. The differences between various types of firearms. b. The history of firearms and their evolution. c. The difference between real and make believe. d. The legal aspects of firearm ownership and usage. Answer. C. The difference between real and make-believe. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, which of the following is an ineffective way to safeguard adolescents from the dangers of firearms? A. Cautionary words. B. Direct supervision. C. Firearm safety courses. D. Safe storage of firearms. Answer A. Cautionary words. In the event that a child discovers a gun in a public place or another person's home, which of the following rules should they not follow? A. Stop what they are doing. B. Don't touch the gun. C. Leave the area immediately. D. Attempt to unload the gun to make it safe. Answer D. Attempt to unload the gun to make it safe. A 12-year-old boy named Tim is visiting his friend Jake's house for a play date. While exploring the house, Tim stumbles upon a loaded handgun in an unlocked drawer in Jake's parents' bedroom. Unaware of the potential danger, Tim decides to show the gun to Jake, who then takes the gun and starts waving it around accidentally firing a shot that injures another friend in the room. Which of the following could have potentially prevented this accident? A. Storing the handgun in an unlocked drawer. B. Storing the handgun in a locked container. 
c. Allowing Tim and Jake to play with the gun under supervision. d. Ensuring the gun was loaded before storing it in the drawer. Answer. b. Storing the handgun in a locked container. In this scenario, the injured friend's parents might hold Jake's parents legally responsible for the accident due to their failure to a. Supervise the children at all times. b. Properly store the loaded firearm. c. Teach their child about firearm safety. d. Keep the gun unloaded at all times. Answer b. Properly store the loaded firearm. Sarah, a single mother, has a handgun for home protection. She stores the firearm unloaded in her nightstand but keeps the ammunition in the same drawer. One day, her ten-year-old son, Max, comes home from school and brings a friend, Kevin, with him. While Sarah is busy in the kitchen, Max and Kevin sneak into her bedroom. Kevin finds the gun and ammunition in the nightstand, loads the gun, and accidentally discharges it, causing damage to the room and scaring both children. In this scenario, which of the following actions could have increased the risk of an accident? A. Sarah talking to Max about firearm safety. B. Max and Kevin being unsupervised in Sarah's bedroom. C. Sarah storing the gun unloaded in the nightstand. D. Max and Kevin attending a firearm safety course. Answer. B. Max and Kevin being unsupervised in Sarah's bedroom. It is not a firearm owner's responsibility to make sure a child cannot gain access to firearms. A. True. B. False. Answer. B. False. Adolescents are less vulnerable than children when it comes to firearm safety, as they have developed a stronger sense of responsibility and autonomy. A. True. B. False. Answer B. False. In order to teach children about the difference between real guns and toy guns, it is advisable to let them handle real guns under supervision. A. True. B. False. Answer B. False. A toddler's thumb has less strength than their other fingers, making it difficult for them to pull a gun's trigger. A. True. B. False. Answer B. False. Practicing safe gun conduct is essential even if you have no children or if your children have grown to adulthood and left home. A. True. B. False. Answer A. True.